I'm going to show you how you can use the grid lines in your exercise book to help you sketch out three dimensional shapes. So we're starting with a, a cube. So I've drawn a square, a uh, five by five square. Now to turn this into a cube, a three dimensional shape, um, I'm gonna go along, counting from this vertex, this corner here, count along three and up two. Do the same from this vertex, along three and up two. And the same from here, along three and up two. And I can do the same here, along three and up two. So what I've created in the background is another five by five square. Now to make this look like a 3D shape, all I'm going to do is join up these diagonal lines and then those edges as well. I'm going to use this one um, that I placed here to give that impression of three dimensions, as if it was a see-through transparent shape. So you can also see the hidden faces. We're going to use the same sort of method with to, to create a, uh, a cuboid, so this time a rectangle, and just count along as many as you like. I think I've gone eight and then two. And then I've gone eight and two, and here eight and two. And we can do the same here, eight and two. So I'm just going to join these up. So all these lengths are gonna be the same length. So those are the visible uh, faces. If I want to show the hidden faces as well, I can just drop down some dotted lines like that. So a couple of other shapes that it's useful to know how to do. This is a triangular um, pyramid. So this time um, I haven't drawn it as an isosceles triangle. I've done this, uh, the apex here, slightly off centre. This is six units long and this is two units away from this side and four units from that side. I just think it gives a better overall impression. Um, count along three and up one, join like that and join like that. Again, if you want to count along three and up one there, and we can show the square base of our pyramid, if you want to do square base pyramid, and then join down there so you can see that it's got five faces um, all together. If it was a triangular base pyramid, it would just be a line across there. Um, for a cylinder, start with the two, um, vertical lines and then at the bottom we're just going to curve as we join those and do a dotted line to show that it um, curves around the back so this is the hidden face at the base and then at the top we can just draw like that. For a um, cone again very similar we just curve around this time I did do sort of the two sides of uh, an isosceles triangle same length and then we do that. For a sphere, um, some of you are going to be good at drawing freehand circles. If you're not, use something circular. So draw around that, you get a nice circle, and you can then just show some curvature by doing a line like that.